And let's bring in the head coach of the regional semifinalist Dublin Lions. We're joined by Coach Greg Hardcastle. Coach, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Greg? I'm excellent. How are things in beautiful Dublin, Texas? Oh, beautiful weather today. Uh, you know, great workout this morning. And, uh, uh, you know, really excited about the opportunity we have this week. Practicing on Thanksgiving week, they ain't, ain't nothing wrong uh, with that. And and the reason you guys are practicing Thanksgiving week is because of your 41-35 win over Palmer last week to advance to the uh, regional, the third round of the playoffs for the first time in program history. Um, I want to get into the to the uh, I want to get into you know the the you taking over the program and all that fu- fun stuff. But but first and foremost, what is it about this team? that has them rolling right now uh, to places that, that Dublin has never been before? Well, you know, uh, these kids, they just they just keep fighting. They never give up. You know, we've had some, some times where, uh, you know, uh, we've been down, but, you know, they, they, they fight back, you know. Uh, you know, we still came up short a couple of times, but, you know, they, they, they really don't give in. Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, a year ago we were one and eight, and a lot of these guys were – or injured or sick or, and things like that. And, and they've really come back and, and been strong leaders for us this year. And, and uh, I think just, you know, had that determination that, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to show people what we're really about. Well, and, you know, you mentioned that, that, that this was a program that was one and eight last year. I think it's important to, 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 to note that that was not necessarily indicative of the recent history of the program that was an outlier you know uh the previous years before that you guys had been eight and three uh you know with with coach bob Cervetto, the you know the the, the legendary coach there there at dublin you take over for them uh, take over the dublin program where it's not you know i think it's safe to say there wasn't anything wrong with the program you know the program was was doing pretty good things under coach Cervetto. uh so how do you as the office coordinator getting promoted to the to the big chair how do you go about putting your stamp on the program while still keeping what are really the good bones of the program together? How did you go about, you know, putting your stamp on it? Well, you know, just, uh, you know, like I said, it, it was, you know, encouraging the kids and, 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 you know, building on what we had done in the past, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, like you said, you know, we had, we were eight and three, two years in a row there. And then and had a little dip last year, uh, you know, like I say, due to some injuries and stuff. And, you know, a lot of these guys that are, that are, that were our, our big, you know, big time players this year were, were out last year. And so, uh, you know, with the injuries, whatever, but, uh, you know, just, just, uh, you know, coming in and, and, and really just trying to keep the program rolling, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not the, the, the big, uh, I guess the big motivational guy that, that coach Cervetto was, but, you know, I just try to say, you know, talk to kids about, you know, we got to be steady and we got to do what we do and, uh, uh, you know, do our job every down, every snap, and, and just, you know, play as hard as we can. Talking with Greg Harcastle, the head coach of the Dublin Lions here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation, hashtag TF Today. Uh, coach, uh, one thing of note here is that each of the, your last seven games have been one-score games. Um, have you considered not doing that? Have you considered <laughs> maybe going up there and blowing a team out? <laughs> yes. You know, that, that's one of the things that we've talked about as a coaching staff is, you know, uh, we like to keep it interesting. You know, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, last week we, we got up three, we were up three scores on Palmer and, and uh, you know, of course, to their credit, they came back and came, you know, got after us the second half. And, uh, but, you know, in the end, uh, you know, we made some plays when we had to, you know, they would draw within one score and we, we scored to go ahead two scores again. And, and, uh, uh, you know, and then and then we're able to hold them off there at the end. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, just, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it'd be nice to have, have one of those type of games. But, uh, but you know, I think that, that has, has really shown the, the, I guess, the medal of this team uh, that, you know, uh, they're going to continue to fight and scrap and, and, and play hard. Uh, and, and, and really, that's one of the things that we've talked about in the playoffs you know, uh, as we've dealt with these close games is that, that, you know, we're prepared for that because of our district schedule, you know, I, in our district, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the, every game in the district, it seemed like was decided by one score or less, mm-hmm. you know, not just our games, but everybody throughout the whole district schedule. And so, you know, it was, it was a tough district to get out of. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, nobody went undefeated. Uh, so, you know, uh, we feel like that prepared us for the playoffs very well. 
Um, another guy who has really stepped up for you guys all year long. I think one of the most underappreciated players in the state is, is, is your QB one, Chris Teton, who is unbelievable. He's thrown for for those who don't know, he's thrown for thirty seven hundred yards and and, thir- and thirty nine touchdowns on the season. Um, you know, look, the numbers coach are outrageous, but you're the guy who sees him every day in practice. What is it about Chris Teton that that really sets him apart? Well, you know, he he's really matured since last year. You know, he was kind of thrust in there as a sophomore last year and you know whether kind of whether he was ready for it or not mm-hmm. and uh you know we had some struggles last year uh but but yet you know as a freshman he was able to kind of uh learn under Kai Wing our, our previous guy and uh uh you know so he he you know he, he he took some lessons from Kai but uh but you know Chris is his own guy too so uh but he, he's done a really really uh, great job of of distributing the ball to our receivers you know we're we're, we're very balanced, uh, uh, you know, as far as who, you know, we don't just have one receiver that stands out. You know, we've we've got different guys that we can get the ball to and they can all make plays. And, and he's done a great job of doing that and, you know, going through his progressions and, and, and getting it to the open guy. You you know, you mentioned you guys had a great practice this morning. I'm interested what the what the – you know what the vibe around the program is like right right now you guys are making some history you guys are into the third round for the first time in program history is there is there a little extra pep in the step there at, at practice even though you know you know it's it's thanksgiving week we got all these things but is there a little extra a little extra energy out there right now oh yes you know uh guys are really fired up to have this opportunity you know and 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 you know gunner's a great team mm-hmm. uh but you know we're we're gonna uh do our best to uh, to you know, give them all we got, and uh, just see where everything falls. Uh, you mentioned it. Uh, we're talking with Greg Harcastle, the head coach of the Dublin Lions, here on Texas Football Today. Get involved in the conversation. Hashtag TF Today, Coach. You mentioned it. Uh, it's on to the next one. Next one is two o'clock Friday afternoon. They're at Pennington Field in Bedford, Texas, as you will draw the number two team in the state, the Gunner Tigers. I know you're deep into film on them. I don't want to ask you to give away your game plan here on the internet, but. Uh, when you take a look at what you're up against on, on Friday, uh, what's it going to take for you guys to come away with a win? Well, you know, we're just going to have to do what we do. We've got to execute, and we've, we've got to play hard for four quarters. You know, and, and uh, you know, they're a talented team, but we got some talented guys too. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's what I told told the kids this morning. You know, we got talented guys. Let's go let's go give them all we got and, and you know, give it our best shot and, and, and see see where everything ends up, you know, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, like I say, we've never been to this point. They have, you know, they're, they're more, they're experienced in this, but you know, uh, uh like I say, we've played tough games the last, you know, seven weeks. And, uh, so I think that that's a, that helps us. He's Greg Hartcastle. He's the head coach of the regional semifinalist Dublin Lions. Coach, congratulations on your fantastic season so far. We're so looking forward to seeing what you guys do Friday and uh, go get them. All right. Thank you, Greg. There he goes. Greg Hartcastle head coach of the Dublin Lions. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.